Hey, welcome to Rockstar Presenters. I'm so glad you're back. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my why. Um, everybody has a why when they get started in this business or even when they get started as a customer. And my road to being a fitness professional and of course also a beach body coach um, started as a child. So in this case, what happened um, is that my mom has been morbidly obese as long as I have been around. So that means um, about 29 years, okay? <laughs> so for about 29 years, my mom has been morbidly obese. And as a child, from a young age, I somehow knew how unhealthy she was. And for an obese person, she was actually pretty healthy. Um, she was able to, um, she had pretty good mobility, um, really great energy, um, and, and not a ton of health problems at the time um, that I was a child. So despite all that, I knew um, things weren't good. I think I was about 11 the first time she had started having heart problems. And it hit me like, this isn't good, this isn't healthy. And that fear that I think every child has regardless of whether or not their parents are healthy or not, um, that you could lose your parents one day, um, that set in with me at a young age. And so um, I grew up with a fear of what might happen to my mom, um, simply because she wasn't taking care of herself. And in return, what happened to me was I went the opposite way in high school. Um, I became obsessed on the other end of the spectrum and struggled with eating disorders um, pretty much all throughout high school. And then I realized, wait a second, that can kill you too. That's not good either. And um, worked really hard to get back to a point of just being healthy. And fitness and nutrition were my way to do that. So I got more interested in fitness and nutrition as I be um, went into college and got more concerned with working out um, and eating right. And then I got out of college and uh, got married and had babies. And the first time around, I was like, oh yeah, my body will just snap back into shape. And I was pretty young and it did for the most part. And then the second baby came and things were a little different. Um, and then there was that point where my weight loss had plateaued and I was stuck in this rut. I was just kind of in a limbo place. And I remember going to a gym thinking, I think I'm ready to change. I'm, I'm going to take this step and, you know, I've got to lose weight. So I went to the gym and I saw myself in a full length mirror. At that time, I didn't have any full length mirrors at my home. And I went, whoa, who is that person? I don't even know who that is. I had no idea um, who that, that person in the mirror was. I had never been overweight. And that was shocking to me. It was absolutely shocking. Then I met with the trainer who put me on a scale. I also didn't have a scale at home. And I saw that number, that dreaded number, pop up. And I went, whoa, no way. No, scales don't lie. Oh my God gosh, something has got to change. And I went away from that really discouraged. And it took me a couple months to pick myself back up again from what I had just learned. And that breaking point came and I had to make a decision for my children. Am I gonna be the mom that they worry about their whole entire lives being healthy? Um, to this day, I, I'm not, um, I don't live near my mom, but my sister does, and every time she calls, um, even though I talk to her every single day, every time she calls, I'm afraid it's going to be the call. Um, did I want to do that to my children? Did I, you know, it just, that's the thought that was running through my head. And then we were going to the grocery stores and seeing when I was putting in the grocery cart and thinking, am I really gonna grow up 
teaching my kids that this is okay and this is acceptable and making that decision that yes while it's hard and challenging to get your kids to eat healthy and it's hard and challenging to wake up every morning and say I'm gonna eat right today and I'm gonna exercise today and I'm gonna get better even though it was hard to make that choice I sure didn't like the alternative and so um, that was it that was my turning point um, I started losing weight I started exercising I started eating right and um, once I got to a place I was comfortable I realized being a fitness professional and a group exercise instructor was the direction I wanted to go and then of course I had accountability and lots of positive people around me my kitty wants to come and say hello um, lots of positive people around me and that's how I continued to lose the last chunk of weight that I had to lose and then I realized wow I figured out how to do this I lost weight I made this choice and every single day I have to continue to make that choice it's like brushing your teeth if you brush them once are they gonna be nice and sparkly clean for the rest of your life no so that's the same thing with being fit and healthy once you get to that point you still gotta brush your teeth every day right once you get them clean you just gotta brush them so that's the same thing with staying fit and staying healthy so I knew I needed accountability still to stay fit and healthy to get the nutrition I needed and to exer to continue to exercise and then voila along came Beachbody and Shakeology makes nutrition insanely simple um, and of course my kids use it too and then uh, the fitness programs are incredible and the support system is amazing amazing and every single day I'm reminded of my why because I talk to moms every single day who need to change for themselves and for their children and that's my why that's my why I need to be a better person for myself and to lead by example for my team for my customers and of course for my kids um, and that that's my why that's that's my honest answer and it's personal but yours is too so whatever your reason why even if you're watching this video something brought you here and figure out what your why is and if you can't figure figure out why at least figure out why not why not what have you got to lose eat healthy exercise maybe you'll feel better um, so go for it figure out your why and become a coach and at the very least become a customer and work towards your goals that's all I got for you today make that decision stick to it and you will succeed